Check this out. I'm right in the middle of a giant school of pogies. I got my fly rod. I've got a fly that kind of looks like a pogie. There's our, either some giant bass or giant bluefish feeding on this school. See if we can get one on the fly. I got a lot of competition. There's a ton of bait around. Oh, big seal. Hi. Big seal. He's having a feast. Oh! Oh, what was that? Is that a big bass? Come on, come on, baby. Oh, I had a nice big fish roll on the fly. Fly fishing from the kayak. Oh my God, what was that? Oh, come on, oh my God, it's a huge striper. It's a huge striper. Oh, look at that fish. Holy mackerel, look at this fish. Oh, what a fish, that was nuts. Oh crap, oh boy, here we go, here we go. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my gosh. We're gonna have to chase this guy down. Holy mackerel. Holy mackerel, look at this fly reel. Wow, that was a monster striper. Holy cow. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh my gosh. I hope I got that hit on camera. That was nuts. Wow, oh my God. Did you see that fish come up and inhale that thing? This is the biggest fish I've ever hooked on the fly. No doubt about it. Oh my God. I might be here for a while battling this one. Oh, that was unreal. Oh my God. This is a giant striper. <laughs> There's not much I can do to stop this guy. Aside from chase him down. Chase this guy down. Jeez. I that fish rolled right behind the kayak. I tossed the fly, kind of like a backwards cast. Said a prayer. And that fish just came up and engulfed it. Holy cow. He's kind of settled down. I'm sure he'll take off again.
This is a dream come true if you're a kayak fisherman or a fly fisherman. Definitely a fly fisherman. You don't get many opportunities to catch a, a giant striper like this on the fly. This is definitely the biggest bass I've ever hooked on the fly rod. Got to get this guy in. When that fish runs, you want to keep your hand away from the reel or else you could get knocked up pretty good because that handle turns like super fast and it, it will hurt. Uh, trying to turn the kayak around here. Hopefully prepare to land this fish. Getting down to the last bit of line here. Nine weight, fly rod, and reel. Dave Steves over at the Goose Hummock got me all set up with this. I've been waiting for this day for a long time. Well, not really, about a year. A year of trying with the fly rod before I finally hooked a fish like this. This could take second place in the My Fishing Cape Cod Derby for the kayak boat division on the fly rod. I never would have guessed that. Hey, he's just pulling me just like a, uh, I don't know, <laughs> like a, in the old days when they would hook a whale with the dory off, off the cape. They'd hook a whale in a little rowboat and just get pulled along. That's exactly what's happening right now. He's just slowly digging. I mean, there's not much I can do to apply more pressure here to get this fish in quicker. I could palm the reel, but I've fished this fly line in some rocky areas and I know it has a bunch of nicks and frays. If I apply too much pressure, I might pop them off. Then again, there's some monster seals around. I just saw a 400 pound seal who I know would eat this fish in a heartbeat. So I'm hoping that seal stays over on the school of pogies and leaves this beautiful striper alone. kind of in a stalemate right now. I'm going to have to apply more pressure to this fish. I try to circle them and gain a little line. I don't know if that really worked.
he doesn't want to move. Oh man, I might be here for a while. I'm going to have to hope that my gear can handle this. It's not the rod or the reel, it's the line I'm a little concerned about because I know it has some nicks and some frays. Oh, you can just feel the weight of this fish. Just a cow striper. What a beautiful night. Flat calm. Middle of July. Doesn't get much better than this on the Cape. All right, I've got to apply just a little more drag. One click. I can already feel a little more pressure on the fish. I also have some seaweed on the line. Oh my gosh, this is like fighting a tuna. So that pogey school was so dense that I was actually in the center of the school for a little while. I knew I needed to get to the, to the outskirts of the school. That's where the big bass would be. And sure enough, right as soon as I got to the outskirts of the school, that fish rolled right off the stern. Oh my gosh, I can see on my line, there's a nick. There's a nick on my fly line. I don't know if I'm ever gonna get this fish in. I'm sure that's Lauren, my wife, calling me. Where the heck are you? I'm out here battling a giant on the fly rod. I can't pick up. Oh, he's coming up. Is he coming up to the surface? He's shaking his head like crazy. I just gained a bunch of line on him. I think he's coming up to the surface. Yeah, he is. I can gain some line right now on him. <sighs> Something's going on here. Something weird's going on. I'm at the leader. He just started shaking like crazy. I hope he's not being chased by a big seal or anything like that. Oh, now he's going out again. This is the most line I've gained on him yet. Jeez. Oh, everything I can do to hold on. Come on, come on. This green line, this is the last bit before my leader. I got some serious weed on the rod. Gaining on him slowly, or I thought I was. Oh my God, I can't even lift this guy. Look at that rod. My 
heart is racing right now. This guy is pulling me straight out to sea. I've literally been pulled several hundred yards during this fight. I don't know how fast I'm moving. I'd say a solid two miles an hour maybe right now. This fish is just pulling two miles an hour, slowly and steadily. I got him to the last color of my fly line. I'm trying not to apply too much pressure because I know this line has been compromised. There are nicks in the line. Oh, he's coming up. He's coming up to the surface. I can almost see color. Oh, now he's going out again. I gotta watch the fins on the bottom of this Hobie kayak, make sure the line does not touch either of those fins. These are the fins here. They propel the kayak. The crew over at Sturgis Boat Works in West Yarmouth would be very happy to see me putting their kayak to good use. Oh, thank you guys so much for hooking me up with this kayak. This never would have happened without it. Man, oh man, this is like battling a tuna out on the boat. I'm gonna have to apply more pressure to get this fish up. I'm so hesitant to. <clears throat> Look at that fly rod. I didn't know it could bend like that. Look at that fly rod. Look at that bend. I'm holding on with everything I got. Oh my God. Boy, it is pretty peaceful out here. Flat calm. There's no noise except for the drag of my fly reel. straight up and down beneath the kayak. Come on, guy. I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna let you go. I don't know if he can hear me. Oh, I'm at the mono leader. I'm almost at the mono leader. Oh my God, look at this fish. Holy mackerel. I've almost got him beat. I've almost got him beat.
turned all over the place here. God, look at that bass. Oh, I got a quick little look at him. He's kind of just doing circles, circles of the kayak right now. doing 360s on the kayak. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. I'm gotta let you go. I gotta revive you, and I'm gotta let you go. Give up before one of those big seals gets you. Come on now. I'm at the leader again. Oh man, look at that fish. You gotta check this fish out. Wait until you see the size of this fish. Come here. Oh. Here he comes. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful that fish is. Oh, come on. Look at this fish. Wow. Wow, what a monster. Look at that fly right in the corner. Holy mackerel. Oh yeah. Come here, baby. I'm gonna let you go. Wow. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. Oh, what a beautiful fish. Oh my gosh, all right. Time to get this guy in. Wow. Look at him just swimming with that fly. He's still in pretty good shape. Oh man, what a night. I gotta get him in. A crucial moment right here. A lot can go wrong right now. Oh my gosh. Come on. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Oh my gosh, the sun just came out. What an incredible evening. Look, he's like barely hooked right in the top. I do this without breaking my rod tip. This fish, I don't know. You think this fish is 50 pounds? Oh, oh my God. Oh. Look at that. 
don't know how big this fish is. Wow, on the fly rod. Unbelievable. Oh my God. Look at that bass, unbelievable. Look at that beautiful fish on the fly. Wow. <sighs> He's in good shape still after that tremendous fight, but I'm gonna have to revive this guy quite a bit. So I'm gonna stay with him here. I'm gonna move slowly ahead in the kayak and just wait until he chomps down on my finger. When the bass really chomps down on your finger, that's when you know he's ready to be released. Look at the mouth on that guy. Crazy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, I wanted to get a quick, quick measurement for the derby. Maxing out my tape. <clears throat> Forty six inches, but he is fat, really fat. <sighs> What a beauty. So what I'm doing, I'm just moving forward in the kayak. I'm, fortunately, I can pedal. I have control of both hands with the Hobie. And I'm just letting the water wash over this fish's gills. When he's ready to go, he will let me know by chomping down on my thumb. You can already feel him starting to get ready. Like I've been saying all video, like I've been saying throughout this video, there are some really big seals around, you know, 400 pounders. So I want to make sure this guy is ready to go. I don't want to just release him and let him float there on the surface. I want to make sure he is ready to defend himself, or swim away from a giant seal if one comes at him. Because they are around. All right, he's getting ready. He's starting to chomp down a bit on my finger. He'll be good to go pretty soon. That was a hell of a fight. I don't know how long I was battling this fish for, but it was a long time. There he goes.
that is what fishing on the Cape is all about. I cannot, I cannot believe, I cannot believe that. So lucky to be able to fish here and have giant fish like that swimming right off our coast. If you live here on the Cape or if you visit Cape Cod, All I can say is enjoy it because we're super lucky to have fish like that around. Tight lines, take care. I'll talk to you soon. Oh, she's calling me again. Hello? Hi. How's it going? Cut spinach and wild mushroom pizza sounds. Spinach and wild mushroom pizza sounds delicious. Well, I'm just out here on the kayak, enjoying the night. Oh my god. Is your mom at our house all by herself? No, she's not. I, uh, just got a giant fish on the fly rod. Wait, who is, your, who is she at the house with? My mom? Yeah. She's not at our house. Oh, she's done? Yes, yeah, she's back home with my dad. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah, but... Yeah, I'll help you clean the kitchen. Okay, yeah, I mean, we have to get down on our hands and knees and, like, scrub the floors. Okay. Um, um, but, yeah, I just got a really big fish on the fly rod. Stop talking. Am I going to be afraid of what I see when I walk in the house? Is it a mess because you pulled everything out of the bathroom? No, the house is very clean. I did a lot of work on the house today. But I just figured oh. I'd uh, come out, you know, I got all my work done at the house and... I uh, put the kayak in and yeah, you're gonna come back to the house and have pizza and still move in with me, right? Yeah, I'll I'll drive back to the house, have pizza with you and move in, help you move in and for sure. I just gotta okay. get the uh, the kayak back to the beach, then into the truck, and then I gotta drive all the way back to the house. So I might be like an hour and a half, but I'll be there. Okay, well, uh, I will, I'll definitely get there as soon as I can. But you caught a fish? Yes, I did. I got a really big fish. The biggest... Can you put it, you put it on ice and sell it? <laughs> no, I release the fish. Oh my god. Why would you do that? We're never gonna, we can't afford to eat. Well, this is catch and release with the fly rod in the kayak. Oh my god. Yeah. Well, yes, I definitely will. If it was a smaller fish, I would have kept him for dinner. But it was a 46-inch striper on the fly rod from the kayak. Good job. Thank you. I don't know what 40, how many pounds is that? 46 inches is probably pretty close to, I'd say, 40 pounds. Pretty close. Oh, wow. It could That's be, big. he probably was over, a little over 40 pounds because he had a really huge belly. I did take a video for the website. Good. And the actually the the camera's still rolling right now because this all just happened like oh, a minute ago. So. Oh, good. You're actually kind of on camera. Oh. Well, great. Yep. Well, hello, everyone. Okay, I love you. Love you too. Bye. Bye, bye.